Hi everyone, it's Lori. Welcome back to another video here at Pizzazz Studios. Today I'm actually painting on a cradled wood panel and it's about six inches square and I'm putting down a coat of my white gesso here. Now I do this because I'm painting on wood and wood will absorb all the paint. So you wanna make sure to put a good layer of gesso down so that doesn't happen when you paint on it. And obviously you wanna do all four sides as well. So I'm gonna do that here. And then I'm gonna use my hair dryer here just to give it a little bit of heat to speed up this drying process a little bit for us here. So I'm trying to get the length of the video down in respect to the viewers. So you don't need to watch me blow dry this entire thing or drop it on the table as I'm trying to dry it. <laughs> ah, bloopers happen. I figure I leave them in. You might as well see the real me, right? <laughs> I think you might appreciate that sometimes. Hey, none of us are perfect, you know, so what can I say? <laughs> all right, it looks like this is all dried and we're ready to move on to the painting process here. So the first color I'm using is Golden's Fluid Acrylics and it's Quinacridone Magenta, which I absolutely love. And it looks lighter, so I had... Um, mix this probably with either white or gesso, most likely gesso in this case. And now I'm gonna paint the side because I want the side or the painting on the top to look like it float over onto the side. Oh, sorry about that part. It looks like I was holding it a bit out of the camera range, but I'm just painting the side there as well on this side of the uh, panel. And now it appears that I've grabbed my white oil pastel here and I'm just, I guess I'm whitening up around the edges of the magenta there. So, um, I wanted my, my goal for this piece was to be super bright, super colorful and fun. And that was my whole plan here. And um, with Easter coming, and I wanted it to be representative of spring and Easter and great weather and sunshine. And I hope you enjoy the video. Please do subscribe if you enjoy it. And if you find it helpful and inspiring, I'd appreciate that. And also please hit the like button as well. That will help me out on YouTube. And it does help other people who are interested in similar things find the video because YouTube works on algorithms and every time you like or comment, subscribe or share, it lets YouTube know that you enjoyed it and other people will be shown the video as well. Thank you very much for your help with that. And now I'm dabbing my paint with a rag because I'm trying to remove a little bit of paint so that I can show a little bit of the white gesso through underneath it. And now it appears I'm doing some green splatter here. And that green appears to be one of my custom green colors that I make up using a combination of colors. So that green most likely has some neon green in it because I'm trying to get this piece very bright and colorful. And looks like I'm done painting the side there. And now I'm gonna dab some areas here with the green. And I wasn't really loving the way the green looks on top of that magenta. It kind of got lost there. And I'm not loving that. So I think I paint over that eventually here. Ooh, now I'm loving this color. This is a very bright, beautiful pink. That is a sure sign of spring, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I absolutely love this color. I think this is another custom color. Most likely has some neon pink mixed in as well.
And there I was obviously just painting the sides like I usually do here. And now I have this gorgeous bright yellow custom color, probably mixed with neon yellow. And I'm gonna add that to this wood panel now and also do the sides here. And so my idea behind this is just to do a bright, colorful, abstract piece. Obviously, I didn't have a huge plan in mind. Um, that is generally the way I paint and the way I create. Very intuitively, I just sort of grab what I want to play with and I start painting. And a lot of times, that is how I work. And I prefer it that way because there's no pressure. I don't try to control what I'm trying to do. It just comes naturally. And if there's any questions you have, please leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to help you out. And um, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the videos. If, and if there's anything you'd like to see in my videos, please leave a comment regarding that as well. That would help me out to help you and help you uh, watch some videos that you might be interested more in learning. I'd be happy to help you with that. So now I have some more oil pastels here in my hand and I think uh, I'm looking at this color here trying to decide if I like it or not and I'm reaching over to them to get another color. I think uh, that was a dark purple and this is a lighter purple, possibly pink. Um, and I'm putting them down here together because I like the look of them together. So I guess that's what I decided to do here. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Those are the two colors that I used. And now I, what I have here in my hand is it's kind of like a collage piece. And what it is is I've stenciled a flower with acrylic paint onto some tissue paper. And I'm going to collage it onto my painting here. And it looks like this time I've decided to cut out the flower a little bit closer. You don't always need to do that. But in this case, I decided to go ahead and do that. So I'm just cutting out my stenciled flower here and then I will explain how I attach it to the panel. And now it looks like I'm trying to figure out the best place I want to put it where I think it looks best by just, you know, placing it in different areas. Okay, now what I have here is Liquitex Matte Medium, and this is what I'm using to collage my tissue paper onto my painting, and um, I just showed you a close-up of the bottle there. So you want to use a brush and just brush it on, and then I'll show you here how I'm applying it, and then I'll put another coat of this over it as well, and then need to let it dry absolutely completely before you move on. It does dry nice and clear and has a matte finish to it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, overusing it too much. But I try to be careful with how much I put, especially on tissue. I thought I'd give you a nice close up here and give you a, a closer view of what's going on here. So I really love this shade of green and the way it's poking through under the flower and it just, it looks so pretty and how the flower looks um, organic and you know, it's got little bits missing in areas and things like that. I just love that look to it. And I'm just brightening up this spot down here, probably adding a little more yellow to it and a little bit more up here, just around the petals and things like that to really make this flower pop. And to balance out that purple flower on the tissue, I'm painting myself a purple flower down here on the bottom. Probably include some neon purple in it for some nice brightness to it. Okay, and now I'm adding some more purple in some other areas just to add a little bit more purple to balance it out in the hole here. So. I guess I'm adding that to the magenta and I'm now adding it over on some of the bright pink. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I guess I didn't like those three purple dots there. I decided to paint over the whole thing. <laughs> and now I'm using a palette knife and I'm doing some mark making through the painting. And apparently I just cannot get this painting bright enough to my liking. So I'm adding some more neon pink here to make this really come, come to life and pop. I really love this pink. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And here I'm just adding some more yellow, painting in some stripes sort of here, if you will, and covering over some of this pink with some more yellow and obviously painting the sides here as well. And I decided I liked the marks that were coming out in this yellow because the pink was coming up through underneath. So I decided to just use my fingernail to make some more. <laughs> And I decided I didn't love this area right here. So I'm going over it and then I'm going to put some marks in it as well. And now I'm just making this a little bit more brighter, adding that hot pink color here because I love it so much. And then i am just got my uh, oil pastel here in my hand. I'm going to continue following the lines down the sides of the panel here just to finish it off. And there I go again, dropping it. <laughs> and at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of some white highlights here, and I have a white Posca pen. There I go dropping things again. <laughs> Boy, forgive my dirty hands. They are completely covered in paint and oil pastels and everything else, so bear with me here. My apologies. <laughs> but it's a white Posca pen, which is basically an acrylic paint pen, and I'm outlining the cap of one of my water bottles. So what I'm doing is just obviously painting it, and then I'm going to go ahead and tap it on here and make some circles. So this looks like I'm getting towards the end of the video here. Um, thank you for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it very much. And now I have a white china marker. It looks like I'm just adding some mark making here and highlights to the piece here and there. So um, I'm thinking this is probably towards the end of it, but we shall see. I will include a nice shot of the dried piece too as well at the end of the video. So please stay tuned for that. And subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks again. And do please leave a comment or any questions you may have down below in the comment section. I really would love to hear from you. 
All right, I actually forgot about this part. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna make a larger circle here just for a little accent on my piece. And this is the white Posca pen again, and I'm just using a larger circle here that I'm gonna go ahead and paint and put on there. And from what I can tell, this is the top of a small jar candle that I'm using that I just had, you know, around the studio. Okay, and there we have it. So I added some more little white highlights here and there, some more mark making, and now I'm using a black oil pastel, and I'm just doing sort of uh, around the edges here with that, and then I'm finished. I'll give you a nice close-up. Thanks again for watching. As always, I will see you on the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. I would never ask you to give up things. I just want to give you all I can There's something but you, baby, and I can't get enough There's something that you give me and I can't get enough You don't need to tell me that you love me I don't mind waiting for it to show up